What is going on guys? Welcome back to your 8th Coco Studio tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be covering actions. Now we talked a very little bit about actions before but I promised that we would be going in depth about actions later on and well now's that time. So probably for the next couple tutorials we're going to be covering actions from the very basics to the very advanced steps. So in case you forgot from a couple tutorials ago when we were messing around with sprites, actions are how you move sprites around your screen. So I mean it seems simple but there's a lot of different types of actions and a lot of different ways you can use them so definitely you want to stay tuned for this. So before we can even you know start writing code I'm gonna use the tools that I taught you guys so far to make you know kind of a template and that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial and from this template what we can do is we can um, I can teach you actions a lot easier once all we have to do is press one button and see the action and it may seem kind of confusing but I'll show you guys later on so let's go ahead and make a new Cocos 2D project and we'll name this actions let's name it with a Z because I hate things that are named with Z but you know actually I tend to name stuff with Z a lot of times because if I write actions with an S at the end that might I mean Coco's 2D might have a class called actions with an S at the end but they definitely don't have actions with a Z at the end so you know there's a nice little tip for you not tit tip yeah perverts so anyways go to your class and go hello world scene dot M and we're only gonna be working in this file for probably the next couple tutorials so go ahead and you're in it and delete everything inside your if statement and the first thing that we want to do is we wanna well before we even do that let's go ahead and import a couple things I imported this button right here and this is gonna be the button that we press it's gonna be part of a menu and I'm also going to import let's uh, use this chick and this is going to be the sprite that moves around the screen oh and I definitely imported them into my classes instead of my resources so to move them just do that alright now that we got that taken care of let's give us some space to work with and now that we have some space and we are in the right file hopefully in our if statement what do we want to do first create that menu so cc menu item and make this um, image and just name it item 1 like last time this is pretty much going to be a clone of the last tutorial so cc menu item image looks good item from normal image and what's we'll just name chick dot ping and let me scroll over just a tidbit and the selected image is of course same thing actually I want this one to be button button dot ping and the selected image is also button dot ping looks good and two more parameters uh, that we have to watch for um, target itself since that method is going to be in this one and selector at selector and just go ahead and name this do this and it won't take any parameters this time I just want to show you guys in the last tutorial that it could so now what we need to do is add a CC menu and just name this uh, might as well just name it menu and set this equal to CC menu and menu with items item one and of course the nil terminator for the constructor and self probably need those self come on self I'm saying come on like it's not my fault but it clearly is menu just like that so with that being said all we have to do is implement our yep I think all we have to do is implement our do this alright void do this that looks good for now and let's go ahead and build it around this and see if anything fudges up and compile so after this what we're going to be doing is uh, creating that chick sprite and building a basic action but I just want to make sure I didn't F up anything right now and good so we have a basic sprite on the screen 
or actually that's a button so let's go ahead and now that we have that button and then whenever we press it this is the method that's going to be called so let's go ahead and create a sprite so under import what we want to do is create that sprite with cc sprite and just name this chick and we're saying why am I creating it here instead of in our if if you create it here then it's a local object and it's only going to be able to be accessed from inside this init and not inside this so as long as we create it outside both of these methods we can access it from any method in the file so that's why you need to create your um, declaration right under the import so now that we created that we can go ahead and create the actual chick itself in in it because as soon as our program opens we want this chick to be created so chick equals cc sprite and sprite with file and this is where we use chick dot ping and now what we want to do is just give it a starting position chick position equals ccp uh... looks good and just put it like somewhere near the bottom left like fifty fifty and go ahead and now we need to just add it to our layer self add child and just add chick so now let me go ahead and build and run this and make sure that we have the chick and the button on the screen and when I press my button nothing should happen because we didn't put any code see I'm pressing it and the chick's not moving at all so now we finally get to cover what I want to talk about in this tutorial and that is actions so there are a bunch of different type of actions that you can use on this chick so again whenever I click the button this code I'm about to type is the code that's going to be called so what I want to do is put an action on this chick chick that almost sounds sexual but it's not run action and as your parameter this is where you write what action you want to do now for the next couple of tutorials I'm going to be teaching you the different types of actions but for now I just want to show you probably the most basic one CC move by and this is a built-in action that moves your image your chick image by a specific coordinates so the first parameter it takes is action with duration and go ahead and put like 0.3 because you know we don't want to take too long so it moves the specific coordinates in 0.3 seconds in position equals CCP and just go ahead and move it by like um 40 by 20 so what this is going to do is move it 40 pixels to the right and 20 pixels up every time we press this button and how long is this action going to take 0.3 seconds so hopefully when this runs and I press this button this chick moves 40 pixels to the right and 20 pixels up so yep press it again 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 so now you see the basics of actions and how they can make sprites move around on the screen and of course I went real quick over one of these basic actions and this is called CC move by but in the next couple of tutorials I'm going to be teaching you about the different types of actions and when they would be useful and when to use them and you know um there's a lot more to actions than just different types of actions and how they move so um definitely stay tuned for that tutorial but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to check out my forum and uh, don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, thank you and I'll see you next tutorial.